If only you could see Don't you know that you're beautiful ever since I started crochet braiding my hair in 2017. But like I said before, I've always been afraid to try it just for fear that I would mess up the style. But I'm so glad I tried it. You know, that's what crochet braiding is all about. Taking risks and taking chances and getting creative. It's not our hair, right? If we mess up, we just take them out and start all over again. <laughs> Now listen, I didn't have a lot of time when I was installing this hair, so I didn't get the entire installation process on camera, but I thought about your crew, so I put out the video camera and I got my braiding pattern and most of the installation process. So let's take a look. And don't go anywhere, because I'm gonna come back afterwards and give you my review on this hair. So this is my braiding pattern, 12 cornrows in the front, connected to six cornrows in the back. I always sew down the ends of my cornrows to keep them nice and secure underneath my crochet. And the hair we're using is the Lulu Tress 3C Coily in the color 1B. I got three packs. And this is what the bundles look like. You get two bundles in each pack. And the hair is really bouncy. I love the curls on this 3C Coily. Here's one of the loops. You can see you get six strands of hair, which is how you get all of the volume in such a short amount of time. This hair is pre-looped. I love that it has the adjustable band. And you just pull down the band to install the hair and then cinch it back down to secure the braid in place. So at this point, I've only installed four strands and I completed the entire bottom row and I spaced them about three finger widths apart. You do not want to pack this hair in. This hair gets huge. And like I always say, you can always go back and install more hair and fill in the gaps later. So this is the strand. It has the adjustable strap on it. I just pull the strap down a little bit so I can get uh, two fingers through. So I'm gonna grab my mirror. I'm gonna look and see approximately where I want to install the next one so I don't space it out. You don't have to install here on every break. So I'm probably gonna put one right here. Insert your crochet needle like you normally do. Put the hair on the latch, pull it through. Pull all strands of hair through. And just grab the hair and cinch the knot down. So we have that one installed, and all you do with this hair is you find your gaps and fill in your gaps. So we have a nice little gap right here. So I'm going to install right about here. That's enough space to fill in that gap without adding too much volume. Add the hair, pull it through. I lighten the loop just a little bit. Come all the strands through and just cinch the hair down. And so this way you can get a nice amount of volume without overcrowding the hair. All right, so we got one pack installed and you can see the hair is nice and full. So I space the hair about three finger widths apart. You can see all of that braid down there, right? But look how full it looks. You can see we're almost halfway done with our head and we've only installed one pack. And at this point I have two packs installed and you can see how full the hair is. Um, I really spaced the hair out throughout the entire installation process. Um, and so now what I'm going to do is start filling in the front with the third pack. So I installed a couple more of the strands just like they were in the pack, you know, the full six strands. And then I popped the band and started installing the hair individually to reduce the bulk for a more natural look. So what do you guys think about the finished look? As you can see, I cut in some bangs and I shaped up the hair a little bit. So this is what it looks like on the side. 
give you a little 360. Um, but I am so glad I tried these bangs. I've been wanting to try bangs ever since I first started crochet braiding my hair. But like I said, I've always been afraid to try it just for fear that I would mess up the look and mess up all of that hard work it took to install the crochet braids. But I'm so glad I tried it because I really love this look on me and now I can't wait to try more crochet styles with bangs. Now you guys know I love big hair, especially the more natural textures, and this hair is delivering flawlessly, okay? But listen, this is not the same day that I installed the hair. So what happened was a friend of mine invited us out to the Georgia mountains for the weekend, just spontaneously, and so I didn't have a lot of time to film. I just had to get the hair in, get past it, and head out of the house. And because I didn't have a lot of time, I went with a pre-looped crochet hair, just for the ease of installation, it literally only it took me one hour to install this hair. And you guys know I love me some Prelude Crochet hair. I started my channel on Prelude Crochet hair and vowed to only use Prelude hair moving forward. Now, of course, I graduated from that, but I like having some hair that is quick to install for those times when you don't have a lot of time, you need to look fit and fabulous, and you need to head out of the house, okay? But let's talk about the pros and the cons of this hair. The first thing I love about the hair is that it's pre-looped. I just said that, and it was so easy to work with this hair. It was easy to install, and there's no slipping knots because the hair is pre-looped, okay? The second thing I love is the natural texture and the curl pattern. I think this hair mimics African-American hair, healthy hair, nice full hair, the hair we all are trying desperately to grow from our own heads. Third thing I love about the hair is all this gorgeous volume, okay? You guys know I love the big hair. And because you get six strands of hair on one loop, you get a lot of volume without packing a lot of hair on your head. So this hair is super lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. It's not hot. So this hair is super convenient, especially when you're short on time. But you have to be careful with this hair. The first time I installed this hair, I packed the hair in because I wanted a really, really full cool look, but it was way too bulky and it didn't look natural. So this time I spaced the hair out and I installed the full loop, just like it comes out of the pack, right up on the sides and in the back, and then right up until about here to the crown of the head. And then I popped that loop and I, I started installing the hair in individual strands using the invisible knot method. And so that gives it a more natural look in the front, especially right up here where the bangs fall, and then right here around the frame of your face. So be careful with this hair, make sure you space it out. So obviously the hair is a lot more frizzy than it was on day one. But what happened was I got to the Georgia mountains and realized that I didn't have my bonnet with me. I was like, shoot. So what I did is I just pulled the hair up in a high bun and I slept in it that way. Um, so the hair probably got a little more frizzy or got frizzy faster than it normally would have. But this hair is gonna frizz on you. That's my only con with this hair. So if you don't like frizz, you probably won't like this hair. It's probably not the hair for you, okay? And my only con with this hair is that it frizzes so fast, you guys. I don't even know how long I'm gonna be able to wear this hair because it frizzes so much. Um, I wish it would keep that shiny curl, 3C curl pattern a little bit longer and maybe get to this point at week three or four when you're ready to take the hair out. But for this hair, you guys, the texture and the curl pattern, the frizz just makes it look that more natural. So I think it's worth it, frizz and all. So crew, that'll do it for this review. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you have any questions, leave them below and make sure you subscribe because I have plenty of workout proof hair reviews and fitness videos to keep you fit and fabulous all year long, okay? Until the next time, crew, stay beautiful, stay blessed, and make sure you stay fit and fabulous.